the formation of a young man encompasses the entire man and therefore the four pillars that as it were sculpt an entire individual are the human the intellectual the pastoral and the spiritual formation of every individual that comes here i would say that the first thing that we want to do in formation is we want it to be personal challenging and sanctifying and those last two probably just go together <laughs> so the formation schedule at St. Joseph is fairly rigorous. They are very much affected by the culture. And so oftentimes they need to be trained how to pray. They need to be trained how to study. They need to be trained how to live with others and interact on a very human level. Part of Catholic formation in the holistic sense concerns the whole man, uh, not just his will, not just his affectivity, but his mind and every other part of him as well. And so intellectual formation is an integral part of that. And uh, part of loving God also means growing an intimate knowledge of Him. And that's part of how we fulfill that great commandment to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. But really the, the culture at the seminary encourages prayer, encourages discipline, encourages manly virtue, which is something that is often lacking in society at large. And so it affords them the opportunity, even if they don't go on to theology and don't go on to be ordained, to be formed as good and holy Catholic men, which the church needs as well as priests. To be a man of God, you have to be a man. And that means virtue. They have to be a, a man of virtue. Uh, but we teach what it's like to live a virtuous life. So they have a deep love for our Lord and for the treasure of the church. And they look forward to being able to really to share that.